So, these are going to be stories that I would like to share with you uh, regarding all the manifestations that uh, took place in my life without me attempting any manifestations but just to be pure and non plast and present and just without expectations whatsoever and last but not least surrender you see why i am going to share with you these stories all right first i have to look back at my life where everything just took place without my efforts in other words there was not a moment of oh i've got to have this oh, i'm gonna reach this by this age contrary to popular belief nowadays you know with this new age law of attractions where they tell you you have to think even 17 seconds you know to or to get what you want or you have to create in such a way that you already have it on what you want well i didn't have those you know what my answers are to all that the more efforts you make the more attempts you make the more they become elusive because it's happening to me now it's not like i'm blaming other people i'm blaming myself right now for the situation that i'm in for in the past two years i have to say and i have to admit in order for me to share with you the The, the, the naturalness of how God or you can call the universe works its way towards your goals if you do have some or if you do have one or towards your life in general I'm much more generic about it because they happened to me when I didn't even imagine or dream or expect or hope at all. Yes, 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 there were moments when I would hope to have a, of course, comfortable life, you know, and a beautiful place, beautiful family, beautiful um, house, but never, never have i been so ambitious or so obsessed by all those things that people i see today are chasing to have i was just so nonplussed about it i must use that word because i was not intelligent enough to understand how things work i'm not ashamed to say that you know I was clueless in everything I did or I was thinking. What I know is there was like a few seconds of my desire, let's say. Let's say I give you example, okay? There was one time I went on a many, many years ago in Singapore, uh, a Toyota Crown, white Toyota Crown. I was the guest of this club owner in Singapore and he sent his driver to pick, pick me up to his club and uh, the moment I sat on the seat of the car I was just admiring just so purely so admirably or admiringly oh wow what a beautiful, comfortable, cozy car this is. Hmm, I wish I could have 
one day or in Jakarta. That was all that came across my mind and that was it. It was just a little glimpse of that thought that I had of wanting that car. All right. And little did I know after, let's say, maybe five years or six years later, I got it. Not because I own it, not because I uh, was after it or I wanted to buy it. It just happened to be my husband's car. I met him with that car. So, uh, you know, and we got married. So, of course, it became mine in a way, right? Not today, maybe. Today, you couples, you young couples, you share everything. You know, what's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. Well, not in my days. So, that happened. And I had the Toyota white crown with comfy and cozy, cushy interior. Got that. All right. Another one is long, long time ago, again in Singapore. I visited an office, okay, for my business at that time. And uh, the boss of that uh, office was an Italian guy. Italian guy, a family man, who asked me to sit in front of him, you know, in his uh, executive room. And while we were discussing business, he received a call from his little son wanting to talk to him. And I remember when he talked to his son, it just again came across my mind that how sweet is that, you know? How tender this man talks to the son how, what a lovely Italian language and Italian family life. And that was all. It just came, just like that. And gone. I never was obsessed about it. I never was thinking about it. Nothing. And then suddenly, suddenly, few years later, let's say, five years later or four years later, I know you want the instant gratification. You want the result right now. I know. So maybe you're not interested in listening to me. But few years later, little did I know that I would meet an Italian guy who talks to me in the tender, tender manner like that Italian guy talking to his son. And that one day I would be speaking Italian. So that's two that I can recall right now okay there are many there are many that i can share with you but let's start with this uh, first video i hope it doesn't you know stop because i'm using iphone my camera is not working i have to buy a new camera maybe or a new battery so that's cool so i'm gonna go to the third one and then after that i have to stop because i you know i don't want to waste the video time and then I'll continue again, all right? So the third is, I remember somebody told me, I would refer somebody, all right? Because I'm, I, 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 I have no desire to involve other people in my uh, sharing stories with you. So I would just always say somebody to the person instead of specifically saying who that person is. I hope you understand because I like to respect all these people in my life as well so um yeah this person said to me would you like to go to italy you know you just go there and buy all the leather goods shoes bags you just go to rome and i told him wow i've never been to italy but i wasn't uh, crazy about it you know it was a nice very appealing idea for me to do that kind of trip but it was just too too too, too much to bother for me I was just too lazy to do that. And of course, fast forward, let's say four years later or three years later, I was in Rome. I was all over Italy 
you know, with a man who was giving me all these gifts of shoes and bags and jewelers and travels and restaurants and teaching me all this fantastic food in his country. It was amazing, amazing that I never tried to manifest or attempted to apply this law of attraction. I never, never, never did. And they all happened. So for now, this is these are all the stories that I would like to share with you. And um, I'm trying to find the answer myself also now, because now that I know too much, it's been two years, things have been elusive with me. Maybe because I know too much, maybe because I'm trying to apply all sort of things that the universe is confused now with what I really, really want. So I am trying to clear also my mind by sharing these stories with you. All right. If there are any questions or uh, any comments or uh, anything you would like to know, please uh, write on your comments below and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Bye. <music>